in Faberon, Senegal, girls dream about their futures. But they face many challenges, including deep-seated social norms regarding child marriage, female genital cutting, teen pregnancy, and limited opportunities for education. Grandmother Project Change Through Culture uses a unique approach working with grandmothers to catalyze change to help girls realize their dreams. Girls live in families and communities deeply embedded in culture. Girls alone can't change the social norms that affect them. People often assume that grandmothers are set in their ways and will never change. Grandmother Projects us discovers that grandmother can not only change but can become a powerful force for change in communities. To change ingrained social norms, Grandmother Project engages adolescents, adults, elders, men and women, religious leaders and health workers in dialogue and consensus building through various activities such as intergenerational forums, workshops with grandmothers and teachers, forums with girls, mothers, grandmothers and female teachers, grandmother leadership training. A 2020 evaluation by the Institute for Reproductive Health at Georgetown University concluded that Grandmother Project's intergenerational and grandmother inclusive approach has contributed to changing social norms. These evaluation results clearly show the positive effects of the program in communities involved in the program compared with those not involved. <laughs> FGM has been abandoned here thanks to the grandmothers. When the grandmothers decide to stop the practice, no men could oppose their decision. This work shows that grandmothers can be a positive force for change for girls. Powerful grandmothers exist in all communities, a resource for change that should not be ignored. Social and behavior change empowers grandmothers to be respected change agents in their communities and advocate for their grandchildren.